Hello, person. I'm here to inspire you and take you on a little journey down the road of game development wonderland. So here's something fun and new. I've set a little trap for the new gold thief. There he is, the gold thief. Oh, he's so funny. I love him. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. All right, here's another little new enemy. Let's see if he's in this grass. Oh, there he is. Oh, the hidden, the hidden enemy, sometimes in the grass. And in this room, we're going to have a new mechanic when I trigger the enemies here. The room locks. I'm locked inside this room until I defeat these enemies. I shall dispatch them with with grace and ease and my awesome gamer skills. Here's another new thing too. Check it out. When this guy's got his shield up, you can bounce off of it, but you can also hit him from behind. Round him to the back. Bam! Gotcha! And now that we've completed this room, we can exit. The doors are unlocked. And sometimes you find a room where you have to dispatch all the enemies before you can open the chest and get a key. Give me that key. Sometimes uh, the room reward is a weapon or an armor piece. This makes it a lot more fun to l l loot your way through the game. But here's something significant. When you first start, you start off with the punch ability. It used to be kind of confusing though, because you would pick up weapons and pick up armor on your run. When you would die, you would come back to your ship and you would have those weapons and armor still, but you wouldn't have the ability to use them. So now I've made a little tweak to the game. When you get a weapon within your run and you die and you come back to your ship, you keep the weapon and you keep the ability to use the weapon. Now I'm starting my run with this ax already equipped and I already have the ability, which is neat for a couple reasons. One, it makes more sense because I keep the weapon, I might as well have the ability. And two, when I go into the dungeons, that opens up the possibility for an extra ability to get inside this run. Speaking of weapons, all of them now show you the base damage, knockback, and cooldown. And they scale up as you go. In addition, Vigor has been renamed to Health, and Vim has been renamed to Mana. Nobody really knew what Vim was. Another little wording clarification, when you pick up your weapon, before it used to just say Blade, and now it says axe or sword but actually says the name of the weapon you're using rather than being nebulous and vague check this out now it shows you how much health you'll actually get when you buy stuff or mana you'll get by buying stuff it's kind of neat uh keep it the hit points of these pillars has been reduced so that you can crunch through them faster. This means that if you're one of those gamers that's the total completionist and you just want to destroy every single pillar everywhere, it doesn't take as long. So there you go, completionists destroying everything faster. Speaking of destroying things, you can now destroy these little fire pillars. There's also four new attributes, the ice defense, fire defense, lightning defense, and acid defense. This allows you some protection from those elemental damage types. Bosses will have these to protect themselves from being cheesed too easily by players that would love to exploit things. Like, 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 not, not me. Definitely not me. Here we have a thicker looking door, so you can tell that it's a door at most camera angles. And the ship's plank is wider now, so it doesn't look like a mast. And this here camera zoom is a lot smoother and nicer now. Look how smooth and nice that is. Also, when you've cleared a floor of all enemies, you can now see a green dot that shows you where the elevator to ascend is. Makes it a little bit less bleak when you're there's nobody left on the floor and you, all you need to do is just go find the elevator. Here's just a little thing. When you hit stuff on the ship, there's no more numbers above them, they don't turn red, and you don't get any mana from them. So it encourages you to go off and actually explore the world. There used to be this bug where it would say 9.9999% or maybe 10.001%. Those rounding errors have now been fixed. Look at this, all these f straight up 5% and 20%. Wow. It's what I've always wanted. And I gotta thank my buddies Jeremy and Eric for playing the game this last weekend. A lot of the ideas for the work this week came from their play session. So thanks Jeremy, thanks Eric. Appreciate you guys and all your great ideas. That's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this person and we'll catch you next time with a blah 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 blah. Stop recording.